Hey, Trader Weaves here, bringing you news of what is coming to Pokemon Go in May. Do you like Pikachu that wear hats of other Pokemon? I hope so, because we will be getting four of those in the coming weeks. So this is actually a series of timed research that's just been announced. I think it's free, they haven't actually said. The language they've used in the blog post is... From Friday, May 1st to Friday, May 29th, 2020, you'll unlock throwback challenge timed research lines. You'll be able to see these in the new Today view that was added a few weeks ago, and it will be a series of quests themed around each of the first four regions in the game. If you manage to complete all four quest lines, you'll unlock a fifth, and that will get you access to two new Galarian forms, as well as a Genesect and Professor Willow's glasses for your avatar. Each of the region-specific quest lines will have eight sets of three tasks, and they'll feature Pokémon from the region that's featured, strangely enough. The first one features Kanto, and that starts 1 o'clock local time on Friday 1st of May. And you might get a shiny Venonat! Shiny Venonat, finally! No more clicking on the thing that I thought was a coughing and being disappointed when it's this stupid little fluffy purple thing that could never be a shiny. Now it can be a shiny. So, during that event, Venonat and Chansey will be appearing more in the wild. Pokemon originally discovered in Kanto will be in raids. 7k eggs will have Venonat, Machop, Onix, Lickitung, Tangela, Scyther, Pinsir, Lapras, and Eevee. Of those, the only one that can't be shiny is Tangela. Sad times. And this is the week that Pikachu featuring Charizard hats will be available. The Pikachu hat thing is actually based on Google's Pokemon of the Year for 2020 vote that happened a while back and Charizard came out top in that vote, so the single most popular Pokémon is apparently Charizard. Therefore, you should put its dead skin on the skull of the cutest Pokémon, I guess. And during that week, we will get double catch XP, double raid XP, and double hatch XP bonuses. If you complete all eight tasks in the Kanto region, then you will get a Mewtwo with Psystrike. The second challenge will feature Johto, or Generation 2. This will get us... Shiny Dunsparce! I, for some reason I like Dunsparce. I think I just happened to have one that I caught early on in Pokemon X. And even though it's been completely useless in Pokemon Go up until now, I always catch them. So it'll be nice to see Shiny Dunsparce squiggling about in the grass. So Dunsparce and Skarmory will be appearing more frequently. The Johto Challenge will again start at 1 o'clock local time from 8th of May to 15th of May. During the Johto event, then in 7k eggs, you can get Chinchu, Yanma, Giraffereg, Pineco, Dunsparce, Gligar, Shuckle, Skarmory, and Fanpy. Giraffereg and Fanpy cannot be shiny, but the rest can. And the number one Johto Pokemon, as voted by people who clicked on a thing in Google, was Umbreon. So this is where we get Pikachu with Umbreon hats. During that week, we get Double Catch Stardust and Double Raid Stardust. And if you complete all eight sets of tasks, you get a Ho-Oh that knows the event exclusive attack Earthquake. Week 3 features the Hoenn region! Hoenn Hoen region? The Hoenn region! Or Generation 3. And this will start Friday, May 15th and run until Friday, May 22nd, again 1pm local time. Our new shiny that week will be Skitty. And our Pikachu hat will be Rayquaza! In 7k eggs, you can find Lotad, Slackoth, Ninkata, Skitty, Sableye, Mawile, Trapinch, Phoebus, and Clampearl. Is it shiny Ninkata in the game? Yes! Shiny Ninkata was already released as part of the Genesect special research a while ago that I still haven't finished because I completely did not play that weekend because I forgot about Shiny Ninkata. Anyway, point being, everything that can hatch in 7k eggs has the potential to be shiny that week. And the bonuses we'll get that week are a half hatch distance and half buddy distance. Given that we already get half hatch distance for the next 33 days, at least according to the today's screen, does that mean it's going to be a quarter hatch distance for anything that you put in an incubator then? I don't know. And the fourth region is of course Sinnoh, or Generation 4. That starts Friday 22nd May, 1pm, and runs until the 29th of May. During the Sinnoh event we get Pikachu wearing Lucario hats, and we get Shiny Glamiao, and if you manage to do all eight of the tasks in the quest line, you get a Cresselia that knows Grass Knot. In 7k eggs that you pick up that week, you will find Cranidos, Shieldon, Glamiao, Chingling, Bonsly, Hapini, Gibble, Munchlax, Riolu, and Mantike. Of that list, only Glamiao, Bonsly, Hapini, Gibble, and Riolu can be shiny. But seeing as I'm still very far off getting shiny Riolu, I don't think I've even hatched my own Riolu. 
then I am all for that. During the Sinner week, we will have one hour star piece duration, one hour incense duration, and one hour lucky egg duration bonuses. As I said earlier, complete all four weeks of the throwback challenges and you'll unlock a fifth set. That isn't actually time limited? So this is called the Throwback Challenge Champion 2020 Special Research. And you will rediscover Pokemon originally found in the Unova region and meet Pokemon originally discovered in the Galar region. So there's four sets of tasks in this special research, and for that you get five rare candy, as well as reward encounters with Galarian Meowth, Galarian Stunfisk, and Genesect, and Professor Willow's Glasses. This one can be unlocked and completed at any time, but there will be a long weekend in June that should help. Even if you didn't manage to complete all four of the weekly challenges, on Wednesday, June 3rd from 1pm to Monday, June 8th, all trainers get an event bonus even if they haven't unlocked the Challenge Champion questline. So for that event, Galarian Stunfisk will be available in the wild in raids and, as I said, as a reward encounter. In 7k eggs you can get Galarian Mouth, Galarian Zigzagoon, Galarian Darumaka, and Galarian Stunfisk. And you can also evolve those into their Galarian Evolved forms. So, once again, more shinies in the wild, more Pikachu with hats, but at least you can transfer event Pikachu in chunks now instead of having to go through them individually. Hope you're all looking forward to that. I will be actually playing this time. I still have my many stacks of incense because I've been horribly neglecting the game recently. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and think about subscribing. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.